for The Simpsons season 29. Great answer. 
We got another one right now. Uh, Bart, I was just wondering, has anyone ever ate your shorts before? <laughs> okay, that's a little personal. <laughs> <laughs> but you can, and you can also get them, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> but my favorite swear, are you ready for my favorite swear? Buzz <laughs> Thanks, Martin. We have one final question for you. Hey, Martin, I'm just wondering, what does it take to be invited to hang out with you and Millhouse in the treehouse? You know, I have a certain standard that I live by. Uh, it's got, you got to know how to do nookies, you got to know how to make a squishy, you got to be able to ride a skateboard, dude. Do you qualify? Qualify. Next. <laughs> well, thanks. thanks, you guys. Thank you very much. And uh, we now want to welcome the stage. It's now made for an Emmy this year, Miss Carrie. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've never 
seen them go up against each other. Yeah. That'd be interesting. Indeed. Let's put it out there. Put it out there into the world. Put it out there. <laughs> Al, we also mentioned that uh, you know th this is sort of the big landmark, uh, sort of beating the, the, the Gunsmoke record for most episodes ever of, of a scripted series. Yeah, I like beating a show that Greg doesn't really care that we're beating. Or <laughs> <laughs> everyone who worked on it is dead. <laughs> but we actually just had a read for our 636th episode. Woo! That puts us ahead of any scripted show in American wow. TV history in prime time. Oh yeah, hi everybody. Uh, this is the first time I've written a script, uh, and I uh, co-wrote it with Brian Kelly, you know, an actual writer. Help me out with some of the spelling and grammar, <laughs> jokes, character. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, uh, can I say what it's about? You can say whatever you want. Okay, yeah. great. Uh, well, I have thought, and actually Matt and I talked about it before, about wouldn't it be great if The Simpsons made it to New Orleans and Jazz Fest? Yeah. For these Woo. Yeah. So, that's kind of the idea. I think I'll leave it at that, though. Because, you know, you want to be surprised, right? There's a saxophone involved. Woo! Saxophone! Saxophone, yeah, I've heard that from many people. <laughs> well, Matt, the other big uh, anniversary, of course, this year is the, like I mentioned, the 30th anniversary of the, the first appearance of the Simpsons family on television. Uh, talk a little bit about that, that landmark, and, and A, can you believe it's been 30 years now? And what does that mean to you, and uh, how are you celebrating? <coughs> celebrating. Um, <coughs> we're just working, we're just doing new shows. That's, uh, uh, the animation uh, is, is cruel. Uh, it takes uh, so much uh, time and work, and thank God we have the most amazing team of writers, animators, actors, and musicians to make this show great. And I can't believe how many people. Thank you. I can't believe how many people who work on the show have been working on the show for as long as they they've been working on the show. Hank Azaria. Woo! Uh, he started I think, in episode six or something like that. He went back and did them all. So. And and so I think of him as the new guy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, it's, 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 it's gratifying to be able to continue to tell stories and, uh, and come up with new jokes and repeat some old ones. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, uh, the other interesting thing that you guys have talked a lot about this year is it does seem to be increasingly common that you predicted the future. I mean, everyone's talked about Trump already, but I found the Lady Gaga uh, coincidence fascinating this year at the Super Bowl. I mean, were you watching in the Super Bowl, seeing uh, you know, her coming on the trapeze and realizing we did that? It's amazing that when we stole her act and used it on the show that she did the same act and same prediction. But we don't just predict terrible things. We, uh, <laughs> In an upcoming joke about that their town was protesting wanting a female Doctor Who, oh. and then that actually happened. Wow. So we actually changed the joke to something else. <laughs> now they're protesting too many poke stores. <laughs> well, the other thing is LA reference. We did predict President Trump, but if you remember from that episode, he's followed by President Lisa Simpson. So you know, that's <laughs> He will fix everything, so something to look forward to indeed. Well, let's uh, open up the, uh, the, the, the crowd, and uh, I'm sure you've got a few questions for this fine, illustrious panel, so Woo! let's kick it off. Uh, sir, you're first up, what's your question? All right, uh, my name is Steven. Has there ever been a celebrity? <laughs> that That's a great shirt. Your shirt is funnier than the panel. <laughs> Has there ever been a celebrity that's called, but you guys have refused to put him on the show? Oh. Let's just say he's the president of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> he's the president of the United States. Yeah. 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 Uh. Thanks. Next up. <laughs> My name is DJ. I'm a huge fan of the Simpsons. I'm also from Oregon, just like my brony. <laughs> and my question is, what will the future ideas of the couch guys on the Simpsons will be? 
We are, uh, Lisa Nancis was already mentioned on another panel. Uh, we're doing a, a Bob's Burgers couch right, right, right. We love that show. And, uh, so you have no reason to, to turn your TV off between us and them anymore. <laughs> Yeah, we love doing the couch gags, and we've had uh, amazing, uh, amazing guest uh, couch gag artists: Banksy, uh, Bill Clinton, uh, Eric Goldberg, and on and on. And I believe we got some other guests. We, yes. we got some other surprises coming yeah. up, including Bill Clinton. Yes, no doubt, going to do another one. Very cool. Thanks. Next question. Hi, um, I have a question for Matt. Oh, wait a second. I'm sorry. We need a prize for uh, the last question. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Sparkle! Many questions you can throw out there. It's a little figurine. Is this from your personal stash, by the way, Matt? Or uh, is this, this is a eclectic, amazing collection of things you got down here. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, this is my personal warehouse. <laughs> no, no. This, uh, this comes... Uh, I don't know where this comes from. Here, Actually, no, no, it's true that Mr. Sparkle was from my collection. I've only got 150 left. <laughs> <laughs> so 150 more comic comments. Yes. Next up. Um, hey, this is a question for Matt. Um, how is the evolution of the show from the Tracy Ullman era uh, to now literally drawn changes uh, for all the characters, the drawing style, and the character development? Uh, well, you know, that's a question actually that I think David Silverman, who was one of the original an three animators, on the Tracy Owner show, you could probably say, I, we, I think we've gotten a little better in other characters. <laughs> so. uh, when we started the show, we didn't have model sheets, and so the characters looked like they did in the previous drawing, and they sort of morphed right. throughout, throughout, the, throughout the, uh, these, those short cartoons, and now you know, they kind of look the same from uh, shot to shot. Well, what happened is we were literally, like you said, we were going so fast that we were like looking over each other's shoulders. How are you drawing Bart this week? How are you drawing Homer this week? And let's tie it. Nine points. I have seven points. Let's make it nine. You know, things like, things like that. And then I would say if you look at the shorts um, as we progress towards the end, like from like maybe shorts like number 38 to 48, we were getting to honing to what, the, what we wanted the show to look like, in a sense, or what we wanted the characters to look like. But then we had a learning curve when we did the first season of the animators, both in the in Los Angeles and the animators in Seoul, Korea, to sort of draw in, in the same fashion. And then by the season two, I think it sort of coalesced, and as we would, you know what it is, as you go, you say, well, it's better if Homer's head looks more like such, and then fix Marge's mouth like this, less pointed, or something like that. And you just refine it as you go. It's, it's an organic process, never like calculated. And for that question, Bart Simpson slippers. Awesome. One size fits all. How often do you guys go back and watch old episodes? Do you? Do you I've never. I've never seen one. Oh. Is that true? Right? You just like, you're like looking for. Actually, you don't tell like it's the commentary, and then it's always like, hey, wow. Yeah. <laughs> that reminds me. I don't think. Uh, did, did you mention that you've already done commentary for for several seasons to come? Uh, 18, 19, and 20. We hope that they all come out on DVD. Uh, I'm buying 12. <laughs> <laughs> right, your right? Is that how it works? I think they've got a lot of other things to write their packages with. <laughs> <laughs> Next up. Hello, I'm uh, Billy from San Diego. And I wanted to know, later we find out that Seymour Skinner's airmen are Tans Tanzarian in the later episodes, but in the Flying Hellfish episode, uh, they do the flashback, and it's not Martin Sheen Skinner, it's actually regular Seymour Skinner. Why did they not have the... In episode 3 of 19, by the way. You should, uh, no, you should tell us we should all be fired for that. <laughs> A wizard did it. <laughs> Those are your, the, the continuity questions are your favorite questions, right? <laughs> you know, the... the, the uh, the, the episode in which we revealed that Skinner was not Skinner and all that stuff, I believe we also agreed at the end of that episode to never mention it again. Okay. <laughs> Somebody didn't get the memo. <laughs> and for you... Nothing. No! <laughs> okay. Simpsons... Roy, Roy Pillow. <laughs> Just don't tell us what episode they got this wrong. 
<laughs> NFL crew. Thanks a lot. Next question. Hi, my name is Jake. Um, I think for the last 30 years, I've for 30 more. And uh, Woo! my question is simple. When can we see the return of Bart Man? Oh. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. We didn't realize superheroes are that popular. <laughs> no doubt we'll get it. No doubt they'll come back. Yeah, yeah come back. And for you, the world's biggest plush blinking. Oh, wow. awesome! That's a great one. I see that on eBay. Thanks, <laughs> up. And I'm really, I love the future episodes, so I was just wondering, is Lisa supposed to, like, fully be with Milhouse? house? Because I know she still talks to Nelson, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're doing a future episode. Uh, I actually wrote one uh, that's, we did one a couple years ago that was great, uh, Bartlett. Yeah. And it's sort of Lisa, but uh, where you see where she might wind up. And uh, it, it might be with a woman. Oh. Yeah. oh. Thanks for your question. What, uh, what do we have for her? Oh, wow. This. Wow. This was the one I was jealous for, so congratulations. That's Hang awesome. Up. That one's bigger than a three eyed fish. And do we have any questions for Nancy and Joe? These are terrific actors here. Yeah, well, if you have some criminal minds questions for Joe. What is it? Like Aaron Glenn Ross, because he plays a lot of So we'll, we'll, we'll spread the love around. Next question. Hi guys, my name is Alonzo. I'm here from here in California. I have a question about uh, how you guys reacted to the news that Homer was going to be inducted into the International Baseball Hall of Fame. That their standards had really declined. <laughs> 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 no, we went there. It's Cooperstown, and uh, Steve Sachs, and um, Wade Boggs, and um, uh, uh, Ozzy Smith all came, and it was a really, it was a wonderful, amazing day. If you go to Cooperstown, which is a beautiful city, there's a little exhibit donated, uh, dedicated to The Simpsons in that episode, and some other baseball stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jess, oh, you. you. A really realistic Bart Simpson costume. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like really 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 Hey, Joe, you do baseball, you have something interesting to show, I think. Yeah, and month one of the Cubs, and I got oh. that name. Oh. Every hundred and eight years, we bring it out. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, yeah, Joe, I was saying, that, that's the most fat Tony thing I think you, uh, you own, is that you could shoot someone with that. <laughs> and you know, Joe wrote Bleacher Bums about the Cubs fans. You are a legit fan. I am. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, what, uh, talk a little bit about the, the, the voice, like where you came, came up with the Fat Tony voice. What was the inspiration for that? Well, actually, there's a, there's a little taste of Fat Tony in the movie Three Amigos where I play Fugle with him. Because my, my dear Uncle Willie, who was very influential in my, in my life, uh, he actually talks like this, or did talk like this. And uh, so he came and visited me on the set on the first day of Three Amigos when I was still playing around with how I was going to do Flugelman. And I thought, oh, what the heck, let me, let me do Willie as Flugelman. And so there was a little bit of that in that character. And then when I, it was just a short time after when I did uh, my first episode of The Simpsons, and I went in again thinking, I, I, I didn't really want to do my own voice. Uh, as I said, The Godfather 3 just opened and I didn't want any confusion between Joey Zaza and Fat Tony. And so I thought, oh, what the